You're watching the Auction Network. Set your clocks for another one-of-a-kind auction, courtesy of Auction Network and Fontaine's Auction Gallery. More than 250 antique clocks are being sold Saturday, November 8th, in a special live event from Pittsfield, Massachusetts. The 2008 Important Antique Clock Auction kicks off at 1 p.m. Eastern, 12 noon Central Time. Incredible antique timepieces are hitting the auction block, and collectors from around the world are buzzing about the quality of the items in this sale. Let's take a look. Clock buyers are a breed of their own. They are very particular, specific people that look for items that have no problems whatsoever and they know what they're looking for. These people um, are, are very knowledgeable and great to deal with and they will travel as far as it takes to come and get the clock that they want. Classic cars and guitars may get most of the headlines when it comes to collecting, but there's a big demand for these antique timepieces. For the last 20 or 30 years, clocks has been a pretty hot commodity in the auction business. There are aggressive collectors that have collections of well over a thousand clocks, and they're always willing and able to upgrade their clock collection. They'll sell a few of their lesser clocks, they'll replace it with a really good clock, um, and it's a constant rotation of these clocks that go from collector to dealer to just regular people that want one for themselves. Montaigne's clock auctions are such big events, they often spend months acquiring top-notch inventory. We go out around the country and we acquire approximately 500 clocks. 300 of those clocks will end up in a catalog. A catalog item is totally taken apart and described for any inaccuracies in its condition. Um, and then we picture all the components and we put them on our website and also make a full color catalog. We also have our clock expert, Steve Mitchell, which is here during the previews to answer any questions that people have. He knows all about these clocks. He's been through every one of them. So if somebody has a specific question, he can answer it for them. I love working on antique timepieces. I love the history. I love the mechanics part of it, where there, you have to solve a problem, you have to solve why the clock is not running. Probably not a single item in your home today that's running from 1850. Uh, and many people carry watches that still run today, but you don't have a washing machine or a refrigerator or, or any other mechanical device that you can still use on a daily basis. Clocks and watches are running every day and, and uh, running 24-7 and are being used all the time. What we do is we vet each clock, we take them apart, and we tell our customers what's either wrong or right with them. The hands, the dial, movement and case is examined for imperfections, uh, problems, any type of mechanical problems with the pendulum, weight, whether it's spring driven or weight driven is noted, any type of uh, problems as in any parts missing, uh, also with the movement, all these items are, are noted in the description of our catalog. Each clock in the catalog is treated the same way, whether it's worth $400 or $100,000. Those buyers need to know what they're buying. A good clock that comes up in a proper condition like that will do great prices and sometimes world record prices. With more than 35 years of experience, Fontaine's is a national leader in the antiques business. In fact, the auction gallery set several world records this past June during their last clock auction. We set three major clock records in that auction. One was for a Howard Astronomical 61 floor regulator. It brought $195,000, that was a new record. Another one was for a uh, Seth Thomas bank model number eight. It brought $54,000, which was a record for that model. And we also had a Howard figure eight number seven, which is the largest figure eight that Howard made. And that clock brought $34,000, which was, again was a world's record for that clock. So these clocks were all in very nice condition and they were well sought after by the buyers and that's why they bought record prices. Fontaine's Auction Gallery is located in beautiful Pittsfield, Massachusetts. With many metropolitan cities nearby, it's a prime location to bring in a diverse audience. The Berkshires in general, which Pittsfield is part of, is a big antique area. There's you know dozens of shops here. The Shaker Museum is a mile down the street from my gallery. There's a lot to do with the New England antique market in Pittsfield. It is central to many major cities. Within three hours, you can make it to Pittsfield from New York City, Hartford, Connecticut, New Haven, Connecticut, Albany, New York, Springfield, Mass, Boston, Mass. 
There's several cities that you can just get in your car and come here. Fontaine has been involved in the auction industry for nearly 40 years, and he's seen the antique clock market continue to rise in value. A clock that 20 years ago sold for, let's say, $5,000 is probably 10 to 15,000 at this point. But I always tell people to buy condition. So if they buy a clock in good condition, it's going to appreciate better than one that is not in good condition. Buy, of course, what you can afford, but if you can afford a lesser clock in good condition, buy that instead of a great clock in poor condition. Given today's unsettling financial situation, investors might consider adding antique clocks to their portfolio. I'd say it's a lot safer than the stock market because you have control over your money. If you, if you have the proper person direct you on the clocks to buy, your money will grow every year. Plus, you get to look at a beautiful item in your house. One of the biggest factors in determining a clock's worth is whether or not it has all its original pieces. Alterations in a clock can definitely affect its value. Um, if a clock has been, let's say, taken care of, but things have been changed on it over the years for one reason or another, it will affect the value of the clock, sometimes 30 to 50 percent of what it would be worth if it wasn't altered. You have to be able to learn to examine the clock and, and decide uh, you know, whether it's complete or been married or uh, the movement is, is, is not uh, in good mechanical condition or the case isn't in good physical condition. When you look at a clock that's an original finish that was made a certain way a hundred years ago, there should be no holes that are unexplained. You should be able to say there's a hole in the back, but that was because they stabilized it on the wall. You should be able to say, geez, this movement has always been in this position with these four holes holding it in. If you find four holes moved off to the right or left, you know that something's wrong with that clock. Something's been changed on it. So there are definitely telltale features on these clocks that will tell you whether the clock is right or wrong. To participate in the auction, all you have to do is log on to auctionnetwork.com and register for free. You'll have a front row seat for all the real-time live bidding action. When we come back, we'll give you an inside look at the premier clocks being sold at the 2008 important antique clock auction, like this stunning E. Howard & Company number 61 astronomical regulator that's expected to challenge the world record for the highest amount ever paid for that model. The clock is surely a very nice example of a Howard 61 scarce floor model. You're going to have to look long and hard to find an example of a Howard like this. The 2008 Important Antique Clock Auction Preview Show will continue right after this. You're watching The Auction Network. To register for future live auctions, go to auctionnetwork.com.